Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sayyid Osam Aziz. Welcome back to another class of Cobot. In this lesson, I am going to tell you about microcontrollers and the software that we use in order to program these robots. So without wasting any further time, let's move straight into the action. Just a quick recap, in the previous video, we assembled the two-wheel drive robot chassis and in this video, we are going to install on top of it a brain of the robot. So when we talk about the brain of the robot, it is the central processing unit that takes all the logical decisions and makes our robot intelligent. So for this purpose, we have many options, but for this course, we are going to use an Arduino. Arduino is basically a microcontroller based development board and it is included in this robotics kit. So let me just show you quickly about this development board and the wire that we are going to use to program this robot. So this is the wire that we are required in order to program the robot. And this is the microcontroller board and it is called Arduino Uno. Now, if you can see, there is an, there is an IC on top of it and this is basically called microcontroller and this entire board, which is developed by a company called Arduino. It makes different types of development boards and the one we are using in this kit is the Arduino Uno. This is the standard and it is the most common one. So that is why I have included this in this kit. Now there are other options as well you might see over the internet that there is an Arduino Mega. So for example, if your robot requires a large number of items to be connected, then we have to use Arduino Mega because this one only, only has 14 digital input output pins. Similarly, if your robot requires a very uh, compact size and that is why you cannot use this one, then we have Arduino Nano. So we can also use that microcontroller as well. But for this purpose, we have ample space and we do not require too many pens. So that is why this is the perfect choice. So we are going to just install it on top of it. So we have pasted this Arduino Uno on top of the robot chassis and we have connected it via a USB cable with our laptop. Now let's move on to the computer screen and see which software to use. We are going to use Arduino IDE and let's download it and program it to control an LED on top of this Arduino Uno. In the upcoming videos, we will be using this same microcontroller to program the functionalities of these robots. Okay, so to download the software, we need to go and type on Google Arduino IDE and here the first link, you can see that this is from the Arduino's official website and you need to click on the software button. It will redirect you to the official Arduino software page and this is the latest version of the IDE. I recommend you to download the latest version. You might be watching this video in the future where the latest, latest version might be different from this one. So uh, make sure that you always see which one is the latest one. And on this right hand side, you can see that the download options are for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. If you are a Windows user, you can always click on this one. Otherwise, if you use Linux or, Linux or Mac OS based operating systems, then you can obviously click on these links which are given down below. So I have already downloaded it. So uh, let's quickly move on to that tab. So this is the first uh, tab that you will gonna see when you open the Arduino IDE. Here you will see the setup function and the loop function. And the setup function is basically something that runs only once. So if you have to do some sort of configurations or anything that you need to run only one time in your code that is going to be within these two brackets. And if you need to put the program that is going to run for the entirety of the time, then it is going to be in the loop. And just as the name loop suggests, anything that will be in here will be in a forever running loop. It will be never ending unless or until you press the reset button or you power off the microcontroller. So let's just quickly write a simple code where I will try to blink an LED for one second turn it on and then for one second turn it off. This is the simple code 
and for this we need to first at the top we need to declare an integer by the name of LED and since we are going to use the built-in LED that is located on the microcontroller so we are going to use that pin number 13 at 13 pin we have a built-in LED located on the Arduino Uno's development board in the setup function we are going to uh, declare this as an output so LED output what this command does is it basically configures this pin LED pin which is the pin number 13 and it configures it as an output pin so remember that any digital input output pin of the Arduino you know can be configured as an either input or an output so when we want the Arduino to deliver the output to something which is connected externally then we declare it as an output otherwise if we want to read data for example reading data from the sensors then we need to declare that pin as an input but for now since we want to control the LED and we want Arduino to give an output that is why we are that is why we are declaring this as an output pin and uh, in the loop section I think that is the only requirement for now in the setup function and we need to configure it only once that is why we have written it in the setup now in the loop section we need to use the digital write command and the syntax is we need to write the pin name and then we need to write the status that we need to apply on it so high means the five volts will be applied to this pin and then we need to wait for we need to wait for a second so here I have written thousand because this argument is in milliseconds so if we want a delay of one second then we need to write thousand in this argument which means thousand milliseconds which is equivalent of one second now similarly we can write digital write LED low and then again we need to give delay of one second so what this program is going is going to do is it will start from here it will turn the LED on then it will wait for one second then it will turn the LED off and then it again waits for one second and then because it's a loop function so it will go again start from line number 11 then 12 then 13 then 14 and then again back to 11 so this will this loop will continue to run forever unless or until we uh, shut down the microcontroller or press the restart button so now let's quickly upload this code in the Arduino for that we need to plug in the wire and then from here we need to select the communication port so here it is already shown that COM4 is the Arduino Uno is located on communication port 4 and now we need to upload this code so at the bottom of the screen you can see that it is compiling and then it it has now done uploading and now from here you can see that this pin this is the pin number 13 and there is an LED and it is now blinking it blinks for one second it turns on and then it turns off for one second so this is the code that we have written just now and we can see the effect of it same way you can use different commands you can tinker the delay you can tinker with different functionalities on on this Arduino IDE and you can make uh, different different types of stuff so for programming uh, for programming tips I would like to recommend you to go to the Arduino website and see the different commands that are available over there on their website and from there you can get a lot of help on how to program these microcontrollers and I would like you to do on your own time a lot of practice with programming uh, you can also go into this sketch uh, 
Yep. You can also go into this file section, example section, and there are a lot of examples given already in this Arduino IDE. These are the basic ones, these are the digital ones, the analog ones. So depending upon the type of project, project that you want to make, you can go into the corresponding tab and you can see the programming that is being done for that particular purpose and then you can adapt your programming style according to that. So uh, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you have learned a lot. In the next video, we are going to talk about the motor drivers and how to control the speed of the, speed of the motor as well as the direction of the motor using a motor driver. So if you like this type of videos, then please give it a thumbs up and also drop a subscribe on this channel as well. So hopefully, let's meet into the next video. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.